you. We are all celebrating Asian American Pacific Islander culture all month long. Christina Adensel is here now with a story about sisterhood and healing. Christina. Yes, an Instagram message sparked a business venture between two Asian American women with a passion for creating. I spoke to the pair about how their blossoming friendship is also held, uh, healing past trauma. At first glance, the space looks like a bakery, but here you'll also find flowers and gifts, a color palette soothing to the senses, and a contemporary design that evokes a hushed excitement. More than it being like baked goods or flowers, I think it's just the feeling that I get from when people see what we create and what we give to them and the feedback we get, and the happiness. Flower Atelier in the heart of Kearney Mesa's Convoy District opened its doors in December 2023 by two Asian American women, Chriselle Nguyen of San Diego, <laughs> and from Okinawa, Japan, uh, konnichiwa. Atashi no wa Evelyn Itsumi desu. The pair met in 2020 on Instagram. <laughs> Deep in the throngs of COVID pandemic uncertainty, Nguyen was let go from her job and dealing with postpartum depression. She began her healing process by way of baking, showcasing her work on her Instagram, DIY Selly, catching the eye of Evelyn Izumi Osborne. I finally afforded a plane ticket to Japan and um, I brought my son for his birthday. As I was planning my itinerary, a woman on Instagram DM me and it happened to be Evelyn. I just wanted to learn more and, you know, see if I can be an assistant to her. Turns out Osborne moved to San Diego and here their friendship blossomed. Three years later, they founded Flower Atelier. But the healing process Nguyen started in 2020 continues to this day. So I'm up, no one from my family was at my grand opening so it sucks but my successes is more so something they would look down upon than to support in our interview it was clear that the lack of support from her family was just scratching the surface <laughs> there are a lot of things in my my life i was going through as far as trauma um, so in my creations, I was like giving love back to what I made. Her Filipino desserts are inspired from recipes she learned from her late grandma, each delicacy tied to a childhood memory with her. What is your true passion in life and how can I support you? That's my goal as well, is to, is to do that for my son. In the labor pains of birthing Flower Atelier, Chriselle and Izumi found sisterhood. I wouldn't have done this without Chriselle, and Chriselle says that she wouldn't have done this without me also. From Instagram follow to friendship and healing, the two are on track to inspiring the next generation of Asian American women. By the way, their treats are yummy. You have to check them they out. They look good. Flower yeah. Atelier, yep, yeah, right beside Bitsua. Uh, Fox 5 has stories highlighting Asian American and Pacific Islander heritage all month long. You can catch our AAPI special on Sunday, May 19th at 6.30.